What's going on everyone? It's Dragon again with another video and today's video we had day three of the playoffs We had lower bracket round three and lower bracket round four matches today So we had four matches in total and as you can see on your screen We have team liquid and TSM coming out of those four matches So let's just jump into the video and let's see what we got So for the first matchup we have BDS versus TSM and as you see on your screen right here We had the match card and the first match was really the decider I think because the other ones were kind of blowouts and they weren't really close at all, but if you go into some clips right here, this is one clip right here. I mean, it was already 4 nothing TSM on this first map, which makes it 5 nothing. So they were absolutely going rogue on the main stage. It was really cool to see them destroy them. But if we go to the stats right here, look at Bolo. He's plus 12. He's 32 and 20 with a plus 7. 8 and 1 on the entry. That's crazy from him. On the side of BDS, though, besides besides really that, uh, that what was it, second map? Yeah, besides the second map. They didn't really show up to play today, only won five rounds in two matches technically, so not really good from them. The only one who's positive is Shiko, and yes, he did show up, the rest of his team didn't, so they got to find that balance, and I really thought they were going to win this one, but guess not. They're going to have to, you know, regroup for that stage two and get some more points so they can go to the next SI, but yeah, I mean, great teamwork at a, uh, at a BDS, I mean, at a TSM this whole tournament, and they do secure that fourth spot, so let's go on to the next matchup. All right, so going on to the next matchup, we had Liquid versus Empire. And this one was pretty shocking, honestly. I did not think Team Liquid was going to win this. I think it was 7 4, 7 3 right here. And when you have stuff like this, this is not what you want to see. Obviously, there was a there was a there was a grenade from Scyther that killed two of his teammates. So that was that was not it, Chief. And then if you go to the match card right here, I mean, the, always is the only one who's positive technically, and he didn't. He didn't really have that good of a no one really had that good of a series i mean look at joystick he's minus nine always is, is not the guy that puts out the best kd either so you know when you lose like that and you're technically bottom performer even though he's not a bad players on top that's when you start to question you're not going to win but as a side of uh, team liquid they're popping off bro paula and psk popping off as you can see right here but yeah honestly once again like the teamwork at a liquid the plays they were making on the map to try to shut down these roamers it was really insane. Isaac C joystick three and five in the entry, not the best when you're trying to roam and get kills like that. Uh, at least on defense, but impressive game at a liquid. Those were the first two games. Let's go on the next games. All right, so going on to the next match, we had TSM or OXG, and the first map was very close actually. Um, we went to a 15 round on Cat Bay, went the way of TSM, and it was still close even on the clubhouse. I really thought Oxygen was gonna win it because they were three three split, and then they just choked hard on defense, but. As you can see right here, Yago almost clutched this round. Insane stuff from him. I mean, this kid is insane. Like, OXG looks way better with these new young guns instead of their usual, like, they pick up the older guys. But these the, the raw talent in Challenger League, I'm telling you, it's insane. These two kids were from Challenger League. They they go mad far in this major getting 5th, 6th. So, I mean, insane stuff out of them. But TSM do close this one out. And it was, yeah, 8, 7, 7, 5 right there so i mean kino yaga played really well this whole event as new uh, technically newcomers uh in the stage one and then they you know they're not really newcomers anymore but merc bolo popping off on the main stage we like to see six and one five and five on them entries pretty good from them overall but i mean there were just so many good plays like these matches are so close that's what i love about the uh, these international events and i'm happy that we can still have it but international events are just way better i mean this was an na matchup but TSM after their warm-up, they still looked really good, so that's something we could call into question about the format, but I'm not going to talk about that right now. Let's go on the next series. All right, so going on to the last map of the day, we had FaZe versus Liquid, and this was a really close matchup. So FaZe get bodied on Cafe, and then we went to a 15 on Chalet, and then it was really quick on Coastline. And I did watch some of this matchup, but honestly, it, it, FaZe didn't really look good on like most of the map, to be honest. But as you see, Liquid winning rounds on match point. They're all getting hyped. And these are, these are how the stats went. Look at Paula, bro. He's plus 21. That's insane right there. 42 and 21. Insane stats from him. Nesk is 35 and 25. Sexy Cake, 27, 23. Popping off on the main stage. But yeah, I mean, for FaZe, you know, the, 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 they got to get teamwork. The problem with the Nip match, especially this match, they, they're not playing as a team. That's one thing I really noticed. They're, they're not like... I don't know, I feel like they get advantages and they kind of throw them away. They're not really playing as a team. Look at the plants by both teams, by the way, and the 1vx is insane stuff. But yeah, you, you, I mean, you, you got to start playing as a team if you want to win these events. So they really didn't look like they played that. And I, I did say that Team Liquid did look like the best Lad M team, but I guess not because we, got st we still got three Lad M teams left and one North American squad. So if we go back to the playoffs right here, 
the two matches tomorrow the upper bracket finals and the lower bracket round five so if you go to the schedule i'm not sure which one's first so upper bracket finals first then the lower bracket and then we got tomorrow's matches so if i were to predict these i would say nip's gonna win this one uh i just feel confident in nip over mibr even though they did really, even though they're playing good i don't know if they can match it up to nip but then team liquid tsm i you know i i still want to go tsm but i don't know who's gonna win that one i think i'm gonna go tsm but i'm not surprised if liquid would win either so we have three brazilian teams and one north american team left and ninjas and tsm got the farthest in the last one so let's see who's gonna win i imagine whoever wins the upper bracket final will win the event in my opinion so if i think ninjas is gonna win i think they win the whole event to be honest but you never know I've, we've seen g2 do it where they've like you know went down to that lower bracket and then played the best of five with a one map advantage and won the next two uh next three maps so i mean a couple teams have done it but i think it's gonna be really hard to do it here so i think ninjas are gonna win the event to be honest and I think they're going to win that upper bracket final. Or if MIBR win that match, I think they still win the whole event. Uh, just depending how it looks. But yeah, and just in some other news real quick before we wrap it up. So all I know about this new operator from leaks and stuff. Obviously, I can't show the leaks. It's so apparently he has some health pack on the ground. He can like deploy and he gets health packs and stuff like that. And then, you know, he can like, I guess, distribute them. I'm not sure how it works. We got to wait for the reveal on Sunday. I don't know why I said tomorrow. It's on Sunday. But yeah, uh, I want to see how that works. Plus, I know bullet holes are gone. I know his loadout is like really good. I think he's got a nitro uh, and good guns, to be honest. I'm not sure what he had. Uh, but yeah, so he, he, he does look pretty good, honestly. Uh, we got to wait and see what he has. But I know bullet holes are gone. Yeah, so like I said, this new opera is going to bring health packs and stuff. We're going to see how it does at Sunday. It is Sunday, not Saturday. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.